Okay, um, good morning everyone. This is Carl F. Rose, recording from Bedford, Pennsylvania on uh, Monday, September 16th, 2019. I've got to kind of talk fast because um, I get hacked a lot on my equipment and uh, so I might have to, uh, this podcast might cut in the middle and I might have to do two podcasts and continue where I'm left off. Anyway, uh, let me just start by saying yes, uh, Sunday's game, yesterday's game with the Lions and the Chargers was a sloppy game, but it was a win. And I want to emphasize that this is not the same old Lions. We are not the same old Lions. Why? Because the same old Lions would have fell flat on their face. And I was really concerned about the offensive line, especially during, uh, dealing with the Chargers, Ingram and, and Bosa. I thought they were just going to, the floodgates were going to open and uh, Stafford was going to be in trouble all day. Uh, it wasn't a great game, but hats off to, um, uh, hats off to um, um, Tyrell Crosby. Now, he, that was his first start. I did not know that. Um, I thought he started other games before, but um, for his first NFL start as a left tackle who has had his struggles, he did, he did good. He still needs work, and what the Lions did with him was even better. That's a, that's a, 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 um, a shout-out to Matt Patricia and a shout-out to Daryl Bevel especially because they were doing more runs. They 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 locked down um, Hawkinson and uh, Amendola. They they locked down the tight ends uh, real good. So, uh, but see that's a difference. The Lions didn't have that option last year. They weren't going to the tight ends. So now the uh, Chargers. So that opened up the, that opened up the gates to Galladay and um, uh, Marvin Jones. See, so when they had to concentrate on the tight ends, so they had a choice. So they knew what Hawkinson did last week, so they focused on that. And Matt and Stafford went to uh, Galladay and uh, Jones. Um, and um, the running could have been a little better, but what? I, let me get back to Crosby again. They were, they were, what it all boils down to, and Joseph Dion said this, is, is confidence. And what they did with Crosby is they did some more running and they were giving him help um, with Hawkinson. So Hawkinson was Hawkinson was in the game. He wasn't maybe he wasn't catching, but he was doing his part of the deal. Plus there was one one play I think that Hawkinson got a holding on, but man he had to hold because if he didn't, Stafford would have got blasted and possibly hurt. He's defending his quarterback now. Penalties are penalties and they suck, but he he held the guy to protect Stafford. Um, I will take that. I don't want penalties all game long, but he he saved number. And, and I'll tell you something, Matt Stafford knows it. When they go over the tapes, Matt Stafford will see that, and uh, he will be rewarded. Uh, not that he doesn't deserve to be rewarded, but they just locked down the tight ends. Uh, there, um, if if Stafford tried to go to uh, any of the tight ends. Um, and the chances are there would have been picks and it would have been ugly. So uh, we don't want to do that. So so they 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 use their other options. So they they saw the Chargers game plan. The, the, the Chargers played their game plan well, um, but the Lions did just a little. They both shot themselves in the foot. Ugly game, as I said. Now, um, um, I don't want to go into the the negative things, but just you know. Basically, let's just get this over quickly. And over with. too many penalties again. Um, that, that's an issue that needs to be done. Special teams needs to be better. And I'm going to address that a little more in this. Something on, on the positive. Special teams needs to be better. Um, again, they need to be better on their running. But I think, and I'll get into that in a little bit too. Um, I think they're still working with the. the Daryl Bevel system, and I think as the season progresses, you're going to see more and more yardage. They uh, cumulatively they got near 100. I'm not sure if they got over 100, but I would if if they're going to work on cumulative uh, running yards, then I want to see 215 or so on the ground by with all the backs combined. Um, 
Um, Kerryon Johnson will get his 100-yard game. He's going to have several uh, throughout the year, um, but it's just going to take some time. But but um, that but yeah, that the penalties and and um, they were getting some pressure on on Rivers, but not enough. So that's another area they they need. I'm not too concerned about sacks. I mean, getting a lot more sacks would would help, but. Just rattling the quarterbacks. I mean, just getting in there and and forcing them to do. Um, to me, that you you force the the quarterback to throw a ball out of bounds. Um, you force him to throw into tight coverage where the ball swatted swatted down. And that's a, to me, um, even though it's not a sack and they're losing yardage, that's that's very good. So they're they're good in there, but they need to get the, the sacks up. Uh, that will come, especially when um, when um, um, Hand comes back. But Ashawn Robinson was in there. He played game. Now, let's get on to the, the main things. Uh, Patricia and uh, Bevel, they learned their lesson from last week. The, the biggest thing is I give – when Agnew muffed that – actually, it was a fumble. Um, and thankfully, there was offsetting penalties. But as um, – as, and the announcers were saying that um, right, uh, right around that time uh, that, that Patricia was getting frustrated with Agnew. Well, um, when it was all set and it was clear that he fumbled the ball, I mean, he just got fumbleitis. He was uh, basically bent, and he could see how upset he is. He's probably going to be gone from the team later today, hopefully. Um, uh, I was hoping the best for him, but no, he's just not cutting it. He should be gone from the Lions, hopefully, today. Uh, but... That was, see, that is not something that Caldwell would have done. On, this, on the same old Lions, they would have went back to him and they would have lost the game because he would have done something and screwed something up. So uh, Patricia was, first of all, aggravated with it, saw it, said, fine, you're, you're out of here, put Amadola in, he, get, he got yardage. Um, and um, uh, again, and the play calling, and even though uh, Stafford threw that long um, interception, the fact that they are mixing it up, and because they, they do need to go deep, they need to they need to make the the defenses aware that they they are they're capable of going deep, and they will go deep, uh, even though it was on second down or something like that. Um, I consider it kind of like a punt, especially where the where they were on the field. Um, they they threw it. I mean, you, an interception, an interception. You don't want interceptions ever. Um, but if you're going to get one, at least make sure it's not going to be returned, and you just and you get it down the field. Um, I mean, you don't throw the ball to get an interception. Uh, it was a bad throw. If Stafford would have threw it a little farther, then maybe um, that could have been a touchdown. But uh, that's. It was just a bad throw, bad, um, uh, too many defenders there. And the San Diego, and the San Diego, the Los Angeles Chargers, um, they've got they've got good um, backs there, even though they're banged up a little bit. They're they're still there, and the, and the the Chargers do still have a good defense. So um, on their on their line, even though they got torched running the other game, they're still they're still tough to.